week. But, yeah. Um, I, I mostly see this as FPL wants to like crap on the lanes, and that's the only way they win this because Bat, in some ways, is also the counter to MD. As is with Toe the new addition, MDW in the top lane taking some rap, but. Obviously, 747, a very solid mid laner. Uh, I think a lot of people outside of America don't really know who he is. Um, he's played for a couple of different teams. He's good in for a lot. I mean, he's been around the North American team for a while now, I believe. Yes, I remember he was at. He's, he has LAN experience. ESL New York last yeah. time he yeah. played for Archon. Mm -hmm. They're trying to, once again, they, they want to get that LAN win, though. And here again, we go. It's going to be an extra sport to start things off here. They will catch out Stan King, the leader of the captain of the team, or at least one of them. Ice Ice will get the first blood, so it's just like an easy torrent comes through. I mean, once he gets the Star Falls up, he can yeah. get a Star Storm out of Star Storm. Level 3 Star Storm is, is when you start really getting your farm. You get harassed and all the traits. Now we see that they're going on the Razor. This could be a kill. Yeah, this could be yes. They have the Burrow Strike as well for 04 to start things off, and they just can't heal him up in time. And it seems they're going to come back mid. They do have, they have the, war. the Warlock nearby, but obviously not level 6. They're going to rotate in. Shadow is grabbing Speedy, but there's the concussive shots of Burrow Strike as well. Arrow's going to fly to Shadow Ward. Is it enough? The Star Storm will bring him down. Great rotation from FDL. They rotate in Fate Beyond. Well, he can fall back in the jungle. Good. He's going to gank bottom now. And yeah. MJW, this is going to be tough to get out. X Mark Warren's going to come through. This should be a kill. They don't rotate anybody up here. They know MJW is going to die. Good attempt at that TP, but it's just a waste of 50 gold as well as the cooldown. Nicely played for Wings. And they'll turn this into a tier 1 tower push top lane. Yep, that's it. They had a wolf inside those trees. It's almost impossible to TP out of that. They have X, Torrent, and, just, and they have plenty of vision from the transfer with the uh, Razor. Yeah, Radiance too much damage to deal with. TPs are coming through a mask. You have O4 coming in with the Burrow Strike ready. They have the best bomb up. They're going to look for one. There's going to be a few raindrops. Link's still very tanky. Shadow static with the half back away. O4 just goes to his death. The Mirage here. Here's the Moonlight Shadow Plastic Field. Stars from they'll at least take down the Warlock. Shadow, Nature's Breath. Link forward, double kill for 747. As soon as he gets it done, and he'll back away underneath the guy. He just arrowed straight in the middle of the trees. Maybe if he knew the Clung Blade, he could have shot a little more to the right, but they're going back down. 747 last up, they catch a mid lead Firefly Ghost Ship. This should be a death rider, and it is. Not expecting the Bat Rider. That was without a blink tag to FDL's jungle at this point. It looks like Skyrim is going to be the first to be caught. They have the last of good compressive shot. Playbrick pushes him forward, but they have the X Mark. The Torn will connect, and Stan Key is done. They even cancel the TP's 04 split pushing top. They had a double damage run on Blink, so fighting into that Moonlight Shadow. They did dust, and they actually caught him. Ice, Ice, can he get this X Mark off? It looks like Stan King is going to walk right back into them. This should be a kill here. Stan King walking into his demise. Torrent will come out with Faith Beyond. Should be more than enough to get the kill. It will be the Batrider picking it up with the last right click. However, top lane, they are pushing rather right more. <laughs> so they will take the tier 1, or at least they'll attempt to as 04 TP's in. Blink is going to go ahead and use his shape. If they do have plenty of damage here, the Ghost is going to come through 04, getting caught the X March back. 04 has caught himself in trouble, but they have the intent. The last one coming out now as well. And they bring this hero down, Faith Beyond, taking a lot of damage, but he's not done yet. They're looking to turn this. Here comes Blink back in. They'll find the beast that he's done, and now 747 has to leap away. The shape is doing massive work for Blink. Ice Ice taking a lot of damage. That rum again. Just helping them out so much there. That buff just went away literally a half a second ago. Yep, and we see Beast almost down on this Kunkka too, so they have just about all the items they uh -oh. need to start fighting. Faith Beyond is in the tree line here. No Blink Tagger, Firefly first. Eh, he's just scouting things out. Well, that looks like 747. He sees them out. There's the drum pop, the last of the Oh, the leap just narrowly. They will catch up the torrent there and plenty of damage again. Wow. Nicely done. That was insane. The lead, hope he was spotted. He's fine in general, so. The P new zone was coming up top, and. Well, Zero Four is getting close to this lane. Surprisingly, he is only about 300 gold away. Middle, though. 747 again. Get loaded. No ship. Yeah, that should be more than enough to get the kill. Uh, he's died too many times in a row. I feel like he's died four or five times just to. Razor, pipe, every, whoever you want. Yeah. Last though, they found a target, and this time it is going to be the life stealer. Big one. Chaotic offering going. They don't want his rage to go. They're waiting for the rest of his team to get here. Beast is still rather tanky. He's wanting to kill the soul. X marks back to the ghost ship. He actually misses. Beast is going to turn his attention to innocent. They'll invest into a creep. They will try to take it down. It's one of them that's still alive. Meanwhile, top tier three is getting pushed in pretty heavily. They aren't going to find this group, not yet anyway. Still though, they're making so much space. This rack, this melee rack is about to go down. Good throw strike, but it's not enough. Back to Beast. Chewing down Ice Ice. Actually, my ball here pops the drum guard, pops the mech. They will get Blink out of there. He's still pushing top. They're going to try to fight this. Another X Mark's going in. Beast is caught out. He will fall. Try to toggle. Can't get it off in time. It does goes as well to make sure that Moonlight Jet hype up. Now makes up trance. Meanwhile, jumping in again. Face beyond. This time finds him for seven. The torrent. The leap away in time. Is it enough? He's so low. One more right click might bring him down. He's sitting at 6 HP. Barely survives, but it's racked. 
will not be so lucky as Wings will take down the first set of the game at 20 minutes in. Yeah, I'm, I'm surprised how long B the last of there. He got ganked. He might get kited against the shapeshift, all that stuff that Wings had ready to go. They did use the golem there, so that is on cooldown shapeshift, obviously. Rest of the ultimate from Wings, very low cooldown. Oh, there Ooh, was... good pick, though. MJW as well as Bisa finally finds TV on and try to find somebody in. Well, Warlock's one of the few they can probably kill solo. Here they go middle. Next mark, there's another ghost ship coming out, and MJW actually is able to get out in time. He's very speedy with the boots. They've already lost the scour. Meanwhile, a lot of damage going in. The Kunkka will fall. The Burrow Strike, can they get blank? They have no other way to catch him. It looks like as he will be able to get out in time. That shape shift is just too difficult to deal with for Wings. He has a blank tagger now, too, which he just picked up, so... He's got some good net worth, but is it enough to take down these tankier heroes on the wings? It's pretty rough. He wants to get into the back line and just clear out the support, but who they're going to try to find this fight? Baby Beyond has his blink four staff, as well as Lasso ready to go. FDL has also spoken up. Uh-oh, Burrow Strike, they find a couple here. The Lasso will go. Meanwhile, Beast is going in, looking for that kill on the Warlock. He's got good four staff. They will not be able to find him. He's got Rock ready to go. And Beast is getting static. Like they will be able to get him down with a double kill. Blink has popped the shape ship, and they are just running over FDL. 747 oh. gets dropped as a star from, I believe, brought down the Necro Warrior. Yep. The backlash came through and pretty much killed him at that point, which is unfortunate. He'll have to buy back, but it's too little too late. There's the Hurricane Flag. Shadow's going to whip him literally a couple Radiant meters away, and uh, Wings will just Radiant start. Book 3, obviously, up on the light hand. They, it just doesn't do anything. They just get kited around, and even with the decent initiation, more staff, more staff, the ultimate counter to uh, Nag. Yeah, they kited the hell out of FDL. Nobody able to chase down that Warlock. Who is still rather squishy. Second set of racks down. FDL are going to give this to the very end. Um, momentarily. They're still going to work in the tier 3 tower. He just does so much damage. Yeah. Without shape shift without an AC. Which is still going to the lane last of the line. 7478 does fought back. And it looks like he will fall. Scarab Angels. He doesn't do nearly enough damage. The Ghost is up. They have the run ready to go. M's going to be trying to bring down Ice Ice. Meanwhile, Shadow statically beats up. Ice Ice does get the kill on MGW. The link is up. Scan King can destroy it. He's up. He's just going to be. And GG is in fact called. Game number one. Well, uh, it started out pretty interestingly for FDL and Wings, but uh, Wings crush it after about 20 minutes. Yeah. And I, like, I do like what FDL did in the beginning of the game. They rotated uh, the nature's profit around, got a few ganks, but in the end, the uh, good rotation by Lycan, the jungle just farming up. They just got way too much farm out of the lanes, even when they weren't in them. Yeah. That's the problem.